Mm-hmm. Actually, it was my, well, it was my job interview, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when yeah. Andy interviewed for a position here, he used for his writing um, sample, his teaching sample, um, he mentioned Stephen King's On Writing, and immediately I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and I think we started talking about horror almost immediately. It actually does because it's so central to what Andy's working on with his writing. Um, the short stories I'm writing are all horror stories. We're both involved in the Horror Writers Association. We're chapter founding members out of the Atlanta chapter. My teaching, I always try to sneak something spooky in. I was talking to another friend of mine the other day. She teaches at another school and she says, oh yeah, I slip the gothic in all the time. <laughs> We're like, yes, sneak that in. That's a fun question because usually not much. Um, that's kind of like Christmas Day, so yeah. things get quiet. Um, we usually don't have trick-or-treaters because in Cochrane that's a coordinated effort in the downtown area. We live away from that part of town. And so usually we just sit down and watch a movie. Mm-hmm. Very quiet, very low key. Yeah, horror. Uh, it has Absolutely. to be horror. <laughs> When I teach early American literature, most students are kind of like, okay, we're reading about pilgrims and Puritans and stuff from the American Revolution that feels like history. And then suddenly when you say, and now it's time to read uh, The Headless Horseman, they're like, oh. Or it's time to read those Edgar Allan Poe stories. That's when they get excited. So I think that's the first place where I like to highlight that horror is central to really the American character and we're a very optimistic country so a lot of times we don't like to deal with that but I think that underneath that optimism there is that darkness and it's okay to explore those things. I think horror is a way for us to be cathartic in dealing with those real world issues but also seriously discuss them. I think that's part of its popularity is simply the fact that it reflects who we are and we gravitate toward it as a way, like you said, of catharsis to kind of lance that very unpleasant part of ourselves that we have to be confronted with. Most people assume that horror is dark, horror is uh, bleak, horror is about the worst parts of ourselves, but I tend to think of it as the other side of the coin. It's It is optimistic. It is uh, about the best parts of ourselves. It's one of my favorite moments in a film is the ending of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And you're thinking, well, that's such a dark and horrible and scary film. But she's in that back of the truck and she's she got away. Mm-hmm. And there is something exciting about it. She, she lived against that terrible situation, so. Mm-hmm. Horror can be happy. <laughs> We're living proof. <laughs>